वेलकम टू यू यूवर सीगा एस ए पी एस डी यूट्यूब चानल प्लीज सब्सक्रैब चानल फर् मोर वीडियो अंड टू कैट दि रियल टाइम सपोर्ट फर् फ्यू डेज क्लास एट टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबउट क्रिएट मेमो अंड डेबिट मेमो वाट द क्रिएट मेमो अंड डेबिट मेमो वेन एवर ओके वेन एवर वी क्रिएटेड आर्डर डेलीवरी इन वाइस ओके फर् एग्जापल द आर्डर क्वांटी इज वन The next customer place, okay. The amount is ten thousand. Okay, order delivery invoice created. After created invoice, okay, user realized some mistake happened in price. Okay, what is that? Actually, the original price price has to be nine thousand. Or else, customer also identified he is asking why it is ten thousand. Previous as per uh, I mean, whenever whenever I inquired about that product, that time you people told the price has to be nine thousand. Why I have to pay ten thousand? Uh, so whenever we we see that uh, why it is happen maybe sometimes users mistake sometimes condition records mismatch so the price happen at 10000 in that in that case what we are doing with reference of that original invoice 10000 we are creating create note to that customer of 1000 so if you raise create note 1000 the customer no need to pay 10000 he can he, he can pay Only nine thousand. That is a debit memo. It's a credit memo. The debit memo is a, seems to be same. The difference is in case the in case the same scenario you can take the in order delivery invoice with the ten thousand. Actually, the material cost is eleven thousand. Instead of eleven, we selected. I mean, we collected ten thousand. So that is one thousand differences. We are create we are create debit note to the customer. Sir, by sorry, sir, by mistake it has to be eleven thousand. Sorry, it has to be eleven thousand. By mistake we created invoice for ten thousand. Okay, we are raising debit note for remaining one thousand. Can you please pay that? Like that, the uh, the customer. I mean, the business will request to the customer. Okay, so in that case we are creating the debit memo. So we'll see how it will how will how we can do in uh, how we, how is the configuration how we can do in system. First of all, we have to create the create memo document types. The standard one is CR. The to to go to create the document type is VO V8. Just I am copying. I am creating my own. Y1 RE. I think it is already. Uh, sorry, Y1 CR. Create memo. I am saving now. I'm saving now. It's loading. Okay, you can see here create note uh, K means create memo. You can see the description K means create memo request. The screen also G8 as a create memo screen. Now, this create memo we need to assign sales area. We will get to assign to sales area. First, we will see it is there or not. If it is not there, we have to assign the our sales organization Y10, Y10 is the distribution channel, Y10 is the division. Sorry, Y10, Y10. What is the document type? Y one C L. It is here. It is not here. Go to new entries. With your assign the Y one R E Y one C L for your sales area. Save. Next, go to the. T code V O V seven to create the item category for create memo. The standard one is G to N. Copy the G to N. Create your own item category. I am creating Y one C R. The name I am giving Y one C R for create note. Click on S. Save. It's loading. Okay. This item category we need to assign sales document type. So we have to do item category determination. What the T code for item category determination? V O V four. Here 
enter your sales document type y1 cr item category is now i'm removing g2 again i'm assigning my item category y1 cr i'm saving now now i am going back now i am now i am creating one billing document type i am going to take out bofa here i am copying the standard one g2 i am copying and creating my own billing document type for create memo y1 see here click on yes and save now we'll create on create note now i am creating without reference we'll see how it works without reference i am creating y1 here so we can create with reference without reference so usually we are creating with reference of invoice because of okay as per in previous session video why why we create why we are to create with reference of invoice we discussed about we discussed in uh, written order same like that okay if you not created with reference of invoice after few years we don't know why this create memo created what is the purpose okay we are not aware against which invoice we created we don't have any track to identify so that is uh, that is uh, some okay that, that is uh, some tough to users to identify the data so if you create the invoice with reference of create memo okay we have the track okay this create memo debit memo created against this invoice okay they have the some track okay that is easy to them to identify the data okay uh, when we are creating without reference usually in cutor activities when i do implementation from legacy like sap in cutor activities we don't have the original invoice numbers in that case we are creating without reference okay just you can see the order type y1 cr item category y1 cr here one more one more thing uh, if if client asking it uh, without reference we can't create debit memo or credit memo or return in that case we have one control that in vivo v8 what is that y1 cr it is for it is applicable for debit memo credit memo or return sir whatever is the we need document okay the preceding document reference mandate the what i am telling you reference is what is reference mandate for this document inquiry quotation sale order sales order agreement reference billing document so billing document mandatory if you want to create credit memo billing document is mandatory okay so without billing document number system will not allow to create the credit note you can see here va01 see default will ask the billing document number so same like that we can do for return normal sale order also we can without quotation we can't create sale order in that case also we can do that y1 cr y1 or we created the normal sale orders okay if i maintain quotation here so without quotation i can't create the sale order so any document any sales document if you want any preceding document mandatory we can make it here so if i am trying to create the normal sale order without reference see here y1 or so it will ask the quotation number okay this is based on the client requirement we can create now i am going to remove that in view v8 so any document for return also we can we can do without reference so basically if if client asks me under person you don't want to create any other without reference means we can restrict that y1 or so what we'll do now we'll create one order delivery invoice for that one you can create the create note so one uh, one, one thing I forgot, I forgot to tell you we created a billing document type for create note that billing document type we need to assign here okay we need if you not assign here whenever we're creating the create note 
okay create billing document manually we have to sell billing document type in invoice level so in uh, to avoid that step okay we have to maintain the billing document number here if you maintain it don't need to sell the manual invoice level automatically it will flash it will come okay now I, what i am doing now i am creating one normal sale order i am creating a normal sale order so this is my customer material order quantity is three now i am doing delivery and invoice see here invoice i am created so against to this uh, what happened vf02 is created and it is created okay it's created so against to this invoice okay so against to this invoice now we are creating create node i'm create i'm going to va01 y1 cr y1 cr here the copy control is missing let me maintain copy control the t code is vt af change mode The standard CR to F2. We'll copy the standard. We'll create our document. What is the document? Y1 CR. Same we have to do for debit and debit one and debit me also will get this error. In that time also we have to do Y1 F2. Copy all. Now click on the item check your item category if there are not buy ones here and it's not there copy the item category and you can paste here buy ones here buy ones here you can save you can save this Okay, now we will create the first let me copy the invoice number vf03 i copy it now i am creating the create node against this invoice this is my billing document number copy so here the value is what is the value change what because of v slash 0 6 in item category in uh, item types v slash 0 6 what is the document type zy ob so i maintained here see manual changes allowed okay manual changes allowed you click here can delete and we can save now i'm saving this let me create the create note again copy so the amount is 10000 right so the total 30000 actually the each metal cost is 9000 but we calculate from 
cost 10,000. So we have to return back 1,000. So now what we have to do? We have to enter 1,000. So total 3,000 we are going to return the customer. For each material 10,000 we collected. For actual the each material 10,000. Sorry, 1,000. Then then freight is uh, not required. This is one time activity. So discount and it has to be because of on 10,000 we calculate discount. So in 1,000 also we have to calculate the discount. Now I'm going back and saving this. Okay, order region. We have to select the order region. Why we are creating credit note? Uh, why we are creating credit note? Price was too high. So if there is no your valid uh, credit region here. We can create our own. Now I am creating the billing document. We'll get one error. That is the billing block is not removed for sale order okay i think we removed that we'll see here go to va02 so va02 okay here billing block is be removed so usually the billing has to be this one so if it is like this, if you are trying to create invoice for the, the order, it will throw the error. The order is block refer billing. So in that case, we have to go to the, this is the sale order number, okay, 213. We have to go to the sale order number, VR02, T code is VR02, the change mode of the sale order. We have to come and we have to remove that and save. Later we can create the we have zero one later we can create the invoice for that now i am saving this okay here you can see the account document for credit note 11 so customer account credit okay so customer account credit to revenue account debit the normal entry is customer account debit to revenue account credit but here Credit note is reverse. Customer account debit to sorry, customer account credit to uh, revenue account debit because of we have to pay money to the customer. Okay, customer is not paying. You can see the original invoice. Okay, this is the original invoice account document. This is the original invoice. What is the account document for this? You can see here. One customer account debit. Zero means debit. D. Customer account debit to revenue account credit 50 okay the entry will reverse okay this is the uh, credit, credit memo same like that we have to create the debit memo go to vivo v8 copy the dr create your own y1 dr it's loading next class i am going to cover rush order cash sale order and contracts you can refer the next video it's loading saving this you can see here L means debit memo okay now I am creating now I am assigning this debit memo to sales area OV AJ
we'll see here it is there or not y o o r i o n y d y r y1 d r did there is not there go to new entries sales organization distribution channel division and sales downline y1 dr save Now you can create or item carry for debit memo V O V C M T code. The standard one is L to M. Copy the L to M. Create your own item category. I'm copying this. What is my item category here? Uh, I'm going to do the number Y one D R. Accept the pop ups. Okay, this item category I am going to assign sale item. Item category information key code is VO V4. Go to VO V4 position. Sales document type Y1 DR. Item category M O R M. Remove L2 and assign Y1 DR. Save. Okay. We have to create billing document type. The T code is VOFA. The standard is L2. Copy L2. We can create our own Y1, Y1 DR. Now I'm saving. Okay, this Y1 DR I'm going to assign VO V8 in our the debit memo order type. Here I'm going to assign. I'm saving now. Okay, now we'll create one debit note with reference of invoice. V A zero one, Y one D R. Create with reference of invoice. See, uh, uh, copy control missing. We'll make a copy control here. The standard is. Uh, D R L two. This is standard. Okay. D R F two sir. I'm copying this. I'm creating Y one D R. This one Y one Y one F two. Saving. Now I'm saving. Okay, now I'm going to item category.
the y1 and the uh, I'm saving this okay now we'll create now we'll create one debit memo order with reference of invoice so in, in create memo case we created okay in create memo case what we done we created create memo because of the price we collected uh, we call, i mean the price is uh, actually the actual the price is uh, uh, 10000 9000 we collected from the customer 10000 we created 1000 for uh, credit note in this case actual price has to be 11000 but we collected from the customer 10000 so additionally 1000 we have to collect previously we given to the customer 1000 now we have to collect from the customer 1000 that's the difference between credit note and debit note if we want to pay if company want to pay to customer that is credit note if customer has to pay to company that is a debit note how much each material is a uh, local remains uh, inactive so each material 1000 additionally has to pay uh, freight already paid not not required so I remove now I am saving see a billing block is there if you billing block see it's not allowed to create the invoice so I am removing the billing block now I am saving you can see the billing type y1d here item category also you can see here y1d here now I am saving order region why we are creating debit note price is too low I'm going back. I'm saving. If we client want different uh, order regions, we can create the different order regions as per client requirement. We can create. Now I'm going to create the debit node Y1D. Here you can see here. I'm saving. You can see accounting document also VF03. Previously in credit memo, customer account credit to revenue debit, but uh, debit memo customer debit to revenue credit. Customer has to pay. Okay. You can see the document flow also order delivery invoice debit memo okay debit memo order debit memo invoice okay where we can create the other regions mean spro sales and distribution spro sales and distribution sales sales document sales document header here we have the order regions we can create new order regions and we can assign okay next class i'm going to cover the rush order cash sale order and contracts you can refer the videos for more knowledge once again thank you all for your time please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the real time support for a few days thank you all thank you all for your time